Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to the pool for a training session and I want to talk to you about why it's really important to do certain things in taper that can boost a swimmer's confidence. When you're in taper, the most important thing is that your swimmers are happy and they feel confident in what they're doing. And to do that, we can do lots of things. Some coaches like to do race process work. Some coaches like to do broken swims. And some coaches like me in this particular situation don't even have access to a long course pool to do anything super relevant. So what I thought I'd do on this Thursday night, 12 days away from British Champs with Cam, is let him go 100 off the block, short course, and see if he could go his PB, which, well, We'll see when we get further in the video. So tonight, all Cam is gonna do is turn up, do his race warm up while everyone else does their warm up that I've written for their specific session. And we'll talk about that later as well. Then he's gonna put a suit on, in this case, the Mizuno GX Sonic Neo AG. It's a comfier suit. He's been liking using it in practice. He won't be using that when it comes to race day. Acted like a race, but we're gonna make it more fun than that and try and set a good environment. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna have the other boys act as a relay to race against Cam. No one else in the squad is as quick as Cam. And they're gonna go a four by 25 breaststroke relay against him. And I still don't think they're gonna be able to take him on, even with relay takeovers and dives. Cam is just too fast, but we'll see how they do. Um, I put a mix of the, the boys up against him. And yeah, we're gonna get everyone cheering. We're gonna make it exciting and hopefully between all of these things that will inspire Cam to a fast swim, which ultimately should be good for his confidence going into the British Championships, again, 12 days after this training session took place. I do also want to say that today's video is sponsored by OneBlade. So thanks ever so much for OneBlade for sponsoring this video. And I want to roll this little ad, which I had a load of fun making. I hope you enjoy. I live in Plymouth, next to the Life Centre swimming pool, on the third floor. My name is The Swimsuit Guy. I'm 27 years old. I believe in taking care of myself, with a balanced diet and a lot of swimming. In the morning, I use One Blade Restore Serum to stimulate collagen production in my skin while I do my pre-pool. After using the Restore Serum, I use One Blade's Facial Cleanser with Rose Hips. Rose Hip Seed Oil rejuvenates and maintains the health of your skin. It helps me look young and my skin smooth. It's then time to shave, so I apply the Black Tie Shaving Cream, which is packed with key ingredients such as aloe vera and cocoa bar. I then shave using the One Blade Genesis Razor. It has a patented design with a pivoting head which maintains optimal blade angle to the skin at all times. Every razor stainless steel design is assembled by hand to insane tolerances. Finish off with the alcohol-free black tie aftershave balm which is scented like a barber shop. There is an idea of the swimsuit guy, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me, only an entity that likes swimming. We can race or train together, wear the same suits, do the same session, and although you may think our PBs are comparable, they simply are not. I hope you enjoyed that little ad, and do let me know in the comments if you know what movie I was referencing. I do want to talk a little bit more about One Blade though, and they make some awesome razors. I've been using two of their three models, their core model, which is their cheapest model and brilliant value. And it gives you most of what their more expensive models do. They also have the Genesis, which is my favorite. And to me, that's the best razor I've ever used. 
It is expensive, but it's made by hand and it has perfect tolerances. The thing with the one blade razors and why they're so good is that they use single blade razors, which we know causes less irritation than multi-blade. The problem with single blade razors though is that they normally are really, really hard to use and you end up with loads of nicks and cuts. But because of one blade's painted technology where you have this sort of gimbal-like movement to the razor, you always get the perfect angle on your skin and therefore you don't get any irritation or cuts. And that's brilliant for not only your face and me trying to grow a mustache, but it's also great for shaving down at meat. Because the last thing you want is to turn up to a meat with cuts all over your legs, body and armpits or rashes. You know, armpit rashes literally are horrible, especially when you're swimming butterfly and you won't get that with a one blade razor and they are worth every penny. They also make a great haul of other products that are great, such as their shaving cream, their aftershave balm, and even their cleanse with rosehip that I looked, showed you in the advert. Check them out today. There's a link in description. One blade are great and thanks for sponsoring this video. So Cam dived in next to Fritz Ditz, who was the best option of the rest, and he done some weird illegal freestyle legs and got left behind as Cam absolutely blistered. This is the best 25 I've ever seen him do, is that in 12.8. His turns are still a little high, but we're just trying to get his underwater phase a little more concise and then let him get into his swimming where he really thrives. He has a great coupling motion between his arm pull and his leg kick. He has a great stroke rate. This was about 58 stroke rate coming down here. And he turned in 27.8, which is only 0.2 of his PB of 27.6. And he just kept moving. He starts building the rate on this third 25. And then the plan always with him is to pick up the rate on the last 25. And he got it right up over 60 strokes a minute, which is crazy. And even the boys of a dive, they couldn't match anywhere near Cam's intensity. And it was just a really, really good swim. All the boys enjoyed being part of it as the relay cheering Cam on and it's great to see. I was super stoked with Cam's swim. There wasn't much to take away from it in terms of process because he was going a higher stroke rate than he would long course, which is easier to maintain with the turns that you get in a short course race. But he went out super quick, only 0.2 off his 50 breaststroke PB of a 27.8, and he held the momentum really nicely on the second 50, finishing on a 60.3, which is a small PB, but a PB nonetheless, and something that we should absolutely celebrate. With Cam being my only swimmer at British Champs, I still wanted to make sure everyone else got a quality session. And we went a pretty tough session of 25s. We went 40 25s, where nine were 100 meter race pace and one was easy. Starting with the first 10 on 30, then going to 40, then going to 50 for 10, and the last 10 were on a minute. Here's their very last 25, their 36th 25 at 100 race pace of the entire session, and they are left pretty damn knackered. The guys put a really great effort in on this set and this last 25 is a great representation of how fast they were swimming with the exception of the first nine 25s where they were going off 30. Michael and Fritz were too hard to split on this last 25 just beating out James who was going freestyle. We then had the younger boys with the two 13 year old Seb and Toby on the outside lanes and Ruin who's a little bit older in the middle. The backstrokers were again impossible to split with Seb just about taking the win over these two boys and these these three for their age are just going absolutely outrageously fast times. Alex asked to do a 50 off the blocks and I thought let's go with it you know so he went a 50 off the block and equaled his PB of 32.7 and actually a week after this was filmed um, because my Alex was about to go away for a week on a ski trip. I let him do a stand-up 200 breast in training. And he went out in 32.7, 109.8, and went 224, and which is a five-second PB. He's 15, and he is absolutely improving at such a staggering rate. It's just great to see. So great job, Alex. Big finish this set indeed. Five. No, no, no. We've got 25 minutes to swim down. Oh, I thought we had that four more. Hello. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. There's a cool session that you could try of 25s and there's also some things to think about when it comes to tapering your swimmers. There's a lot of things you can do in taper, but one thing that I would never do 
is put my swimmer in a situation where they could foul. So make things easier, get them swimming fast, and if needs be, let them rest. Rest is always gonna do them a world of good. Less is more, confidence is great. And if you follow them things, you're gonna have a great taper meet and your swimmers are gonna swim faster than ever and get some new PBs. Thanks again to OneBlade for sponsoring this video. And if you did enjoy watching it, please do like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.